Hello, welcome to My Life on Paper. I am Brianna and I am playing along with series 11 of Christie's Beautiful Life and her 30 Days of Sketches. And today's sketch is provided by Jackie Malzahn, who is known as JQ Crafty on YouTube. And um, she provided this sketch exclusively for this series. I am showing you the picture here and uh, quickly going through my stuff. Uh, that sticker is from Winter Wonderland, this and that cardstock stickers from Doodlebug Designs. Um, I cut out these three snowflakes with my Cricut and I have uh, this paper that came from a very old Christmas uh, paper pad. Um, so I am going to uh, rip this as the um, sketch implies and that's going to be my starting point. I'm trying to figure out do I want the white background or the blue background and the blue just gives it so much more something so I went with the blue. Um, I'm going to take a little, oh I'm going to glue it down with my ATG um, and then uh, you saw the picture at the beginning. Um, I cut that using the template that I made with the Cricut, uh, that four inch circle. Um, it is a picture of our friends and Christine and Pablo when we went to, well, we went to Wrigley Field and got to go on the field. So that was very exciting to my husband who is a Cubs fan. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out the, the paper that I should use behind the photo to, to rip. And I didn't want to go with a solid color. This, uh, green matched the best. And then, um, it had that, uh, te not texture, uh, dimension. Uh, it has a variegation in it. How about that? That's the ice cream term, but we can use it for our color as well. So I just rip it to get it, um, about the right size. Um, and then I go to glue it down. Uh, so I don't forget how I've had it, um, learning from the past. Um, I think the next thing is to spray the colors. And I'm going to try several different colors. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny to watch me. So I'm mixing them up and I get ready to spray this pink right onto my paper. So I'm fingers crossed, I'm kind of confident. And then as I'm getting it ready to, I thought mm, maybe I should try it on a piece of paper first. So on my template, I did, and I was like, oh my gosh, look how bright this pink is. So, uh, well, let's try the blue. And the blue, I, I believe, is actually what I went with. And that is the Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide. So I'm off to find another color or, you know, maybe a color I like better. And this is a coral one that I'm shaking up right now in, the, in a lighter blue one. So I try the lighter blue, which, I, to be honest, I didn't like with the background color. I have so many different blues going on. Would it matter to whichever one I picked? Probably not. But... Um, it wasn't to my liking. The coral didn't do it for me either. So I spray this pink on and I believe it is the picked raspberry and that is what I go with. And I'm still, I think I'm still debating between the two blues over there, but, and look how nice this sprays. Now I never spray them. I kind of drip them and sprinkle them around, but I thought this sprayed really nice. I was very super impressed for not, for being a person that is so particular when you can't be particular with mixed media. Um, I like the way that turned out. So then the next I go with the blue. You know, it looks like a, oh, I might have the wrong one. I'll have to put it in the comments if I can find out if it's a different one. But um, so I sprayed a little bit, I sprayed a little bit, and then I give it one more spray and it's a lot. <laughs> but in the end, it's what it needed. So. Um, I don't feel bad about it at all. I was glad I sprayed it. I don't know. It wasn't, you know, again, I was trying to be perfect with it. The term perfect, no, but it looks really good at the end. So the sticker that I got from the sticker sheet is going to go on there, but I want to place these, um, snowflakes around. Obviously I do not have the florals that she does, but I think it look, this, um, sketch works beautifully with these big snowflakes. I was so excited to use these. So I have to get the snowflakes absolutely perfect. I think I moved the pinker one there uh, because it is similar to the color of the background or um, of the sticker there. So um, that's why I did that. So then I'm gonna like 
make sure, again, I glue them down good because once I get them where I want them, I don't want them moving. I don't want to figure it out again because I'll totally forget. So I'm going to use my, um, my glue to um, get those exactly how I want them and that they won't move anywhere. And then I get my sticker down, which I take a long time to perfectly place the sticker. This is sped up like two times and I'm still like futzing, like it looks like in slow motion. And I, and I place it very gently just in case I want to move it again. Um, in the sketch, there are two of these banners for journaling. So that's what I did on my Cricut. And then I kind of think I'm done. And then I thought, oh, look, I, to me, that needed something higher up to give it some interest because it looked like it was just blank up on that blue spot. So I like that much better. And I think I'm kind of, I think I think I'm almost kind of done, but I have to glue down the journaling strips. So I do that with my ETG. And then I think, I think I'm done again. And then I forget, oh, I've got some flare to use. So uh, I want to get those flare down. Um, I had three snowflakes, so I grabbed three flare, and i not making that one work. That's okay. I'm struggling with it. But I do go to get the other down, the others down. Now, this is the first time I've used this craft foam. Uh, I usually just use like a adhesive uh, foam tape, and but I didn't have any with me, so I stopped and got some of this, and it works pretty good. So I get that on the back of my flare and um, place it in the middle of two of these snowflakes. And I pull out, after I get these adhered, I pull out some Ellie Studio stickers, uh, heart stickers. And then I do a lot of fussing to get the perfect color to go in the perfect spot. Um, there's lots of different shades of pink on here. Um, and, and same thing on my page, light pink, dark pink. And I, you know, try to get it so that it's not, I don't want the light blue on the blue flare and I don't want you know, light pink on the pink flare. So then I pull out the sticker sheet and I say, uh-huh, it's got stickers and they're bigger and they match the colors better. So off goes the sticker from LA Studio and on goes the Doodlebug Design sticker. Um, super excited about that. So yep, a little bit bigger. Could I have kept them both on? I totally thought of that doing this voiceover. Yes, I could <laughs> definitely. Why I didn't do that, I don't know. I really don't know. It could have used two hearts, but there we go. I got the hearts that I wanted on. And then I find the sticker. The sticker says winter fun, and that is perfect. I don't, uh, my kids aren't little anymore, so I don't do like sledding photos or anything like that. So when we get a winter picture like this to do, I got to use some stickers. So stick that on there, which then allows me to use this um, kind of enamel flare there. And then um, I move my hearts around because I didn't want to put the pink heart on top of the pink heart. Instead, they're across from each other and that should about do it for me. Make sure you look down below and look to see everybody that's playing along. There is a playlist. I will be playing along every day this month with a new sketch. I thank you so much for watching with me to the end. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.